I just got a crazy idea. Recently I went to my favorite thrift store. I like to go there and get old things and give them new life. Today when I went, I found this lamp. And where do you find out what I want to do to it? Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna put it on my turner and we're going to epoxy it. Jizzle dizzle, and let it spin. How crazy is that? You're gonna love this. Let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take it apart. First, you gotta take the uh, light bulb out. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not plugged up. Then you just gotta figure out how to take this thing apart. And most of the time, this unscrews up top and the wire comes out. All right, next you wanna sand the surface. And use a scotch brite pad to get into those intricate areas. Squirt her down with some Reuben alcohol and wipe it clean. All right, now that it's all sanded and prepped, I have to figure out how to attach it to my turner. So what I did is took this little piece apart and flipped it over, ripped off the football from this tumbler arm that I had, and looky there, it just fits just perfectly. But for extra measure, I'm gonna tape it on because who wants that thing to fall off in the middle of the night while I'm spinning? But first, since the sanding and prepping took some of the gold off, I'm gonna freshen up the gold with this gold from the last video. If you haven't seen that, you're gonna wanna check that out. That's awesome. All right, now we're ready to epoxy this bad boy. For this, I went ahead and mixed up some epoxy, just 30 milliliters, 15 part A, 15 part B, yada yada, you know. And of course I'm using Illumilite's amazing clear cast epoxy. There'll be a link with a discount code in the description. All right, now for this, I'm gonna try. No oh, crap. All right, so apparently that tape wasn't good enough. Well, I guess it's better now than in the morning when I'm already done with this thing. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out. So I tried to drill holes in it and use the cord to tie it to it. But as you can see, it's just not strong enough to hold it. Ah, no. Oh man, it is hot because I'm getting a little flustered. So what I guess I'm gonna do is take this apart. The rod is like that and I'll shove that in there. Oh yeah, see that's already better right there. I feel good about that. After I put a little tape. Added extra security. I'm putting in this oh, wire hanger. All right, so me and the wire had a little fight. Shed a little blood here, here. Nothing life threatening. I think I'll live. I went and drilled this hole out bigger so that it could come back out easier once I get it through there. So got the wire going all the way through. I got some nice little bends here so it won't pull all the way through. I pushed up here and pulled out, grabbed it with my pliers and wrapped it around there really, 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 really tight. This is holding. I'm happy with that. It's got a little lean to it, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But I am happy with this and we are gonna mix up some more epoxy because it is way done. I'm just glad I got this figured out. All right, now we're just gonna dip and do like we would a tumbler. Wow, this is a little oddly shaped and I'm gonna be gentle because this thing's just hanging on by a Literally a coat hanger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the bottom for stability and then just rub the poopsie on it. Listen, just get it on there. I don't have a rhyme or reason about this. Just don't put it too thick. That's all, that's that's my technique. There you go. If you really wanna see how I mix up a poopsie and stuff like that, check out this video right here. I'll put a link in the card right there. You'll see it pop up right now. Now, what I'm gonna use is I got this new batch of all pearl alcohol inks from Black Bear Glitters, so Let's figure out which one we're gonna use, huh? It's gonna be a hard choice. All right, I got it narrowed down to these three beauties right here. Germany mini, Germany sunflower, and Worcestershire sauce. I mean, Worcester, Worcesteria, whatever. These colors right here, jeez. Before we start dripping the inks, dripping and dipping, I'm gonna hit this up with a little torch. Get that epoxy flowing, but uh, not too much, because I don't even know what this thing is. Keep it moving. All right, now here comes the fun, exciting part. I'm just gonna drip. And with all these shapes on this bad boy, I feel like um, it's gonna do some wild things. I'm gonna do, let's just go in order. Just doop, 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 drip, and see what happens. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I might put some white in too. I haven't decided yet. Blue, blue. Oh, you're supposed to shake them. Holy cow, I forgot. These are pearl, shake them first. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that bad boy sing when I drip. Holy macaroni. Batman, what? Okay, yeah, definitely shake these bad boys. Holy moly. All right, let's see what this bad boy does. Oh yeah, that's pretty right there. Darn. 
There is one color that's a little brighter. I think I might want to use that. Let's try that bad boy. Philox. I've heard that one before. Drip. Oh my gosh, that is like so bright. Let's do some down here because I want to go with the blue over it. This color is insane. Okay, let me try this little purple down here too. I'm gonna, I might try all of them. Croak, 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 it's frog, croak. That might be a little too dark for me. I don't, that's a little too dark. I wanna go, I don't wanna go that dark. Let's grab this blue and shake it and do it the right way. See what happens. Doop, doop, whoa, that's pretty. Doop, do, 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 do. Whoop, different color blue. Plastel, yeah, who cares? Whoa, that is dark. You know what, I think I'm gonna just load this bad boy up down here and we might drop some white on this bad boy. No! Look at this. We're gonna drop some of this on there. It's called Dew Drop. It was, it's asking to be dropped. Seriously, just look at that. That'll be last. Woo oh crap, I dropped it. So just drip. I mean, you can play, this is fun. This is fun stuff. You can just do this till you're happy or you get tired or you run out of ink, whichever comes first. I don't know, but I'm just gonna do this for a little bit till I get happy and then we're gonna drop on the dew, baby. All right, I got some funky things happening here. Let's heat this bad boy up a little bit. Just get it moving. Oh, look at it when the, the heat hits it. It's crazy. I will say this. Look, hold on, hold on. Pause this. I will say, I'm doing this for video purposes. You might be saying, well, that looks like garbage. Well, I'm, listen, I'm just showing you what to do, okay? Just things, options. And now, I'm just going to try, oh my gosh. I'm just going to try a little white just because, I don't know, I feel like it. You, if you don't like it, don't do it on yours, okay? But listen, if I don't do it, how will you ever know? How will I ever know? So I don't, oh, <gasps> dude, whoa. That that did not do what I thought it would do. It did way crazy. Look at those colors. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy. Go crazy. Yeah, I'm lugging that. It's almost turning watercolory. Now let's do some honeydew. I mean, drop the dew, whatever you call it. This is like, uh, that unicorn stuff or whatever from Marabou or rainbow. I don't even remember what it's called. It's pretty. Okay, let's go back to the white. I'm really digging that. Like I said, just play with it till you're happy with what you got going on, what you have going on. And listen, if you think it's ugly, I'm gonna say this, cause I've had this happen a lot. Somebody be making something and they'd be like, oh, this is hideous. I don't, I hate this. I'm no good at this. But literally they post it in a group or something and somebody else is like, Oh, that is so beautiful. And you're like, really? I thought it was garbage, but listen, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And what you think is hideous, somebody might love it. Okay, keep that in mind. Be easy on yourself. I'm literally putting a ton of ink on here. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just talking. I'm trying to teach you life lessons, people. Make you better people, human persons. Okay, whoa, I really like what's going on there. All right, we're gonna let that roll, see how happy it gets. And the only thing we're gonna do, six to eight hours is tack free. So I'm gonna let it go half the time and then throw another cut of a cooksy on there. And then she'll be done. Well, who would have thought that you could have put a lamp on a turner and epoxy it? Well, well, I guess I did because I kind of just did it. It turned out fantastic. One thing, <laughs> this lampshade with this is hideous. Another thing, this and a hydro dipper, I might just throw it on here by itself and drizzle. I haven't figured it out yet. Shoot me some uh, suggestions in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video and you love ideas like this, just hit subscribe. If you want to see the video where I discovered the beautiful gold that I base coated this lamp with, check this one out right here and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.